Okay, so you guys did tag up on several occasions in the new ECW, but after you guys leaving uh, WWE, both you guys eventually part, like you know, leave, making your exits. Uh, you guys didn't cross paths until TNA, uh, I think, in the ring. At least that's what I saw on the on the website there. It says, Me and Dreamer, you and Dreamer, like after. So you guys did the obviously ECW came back as you know after one night stand and all that stuff, and you guys competed on that for a while, but then. Once you, once you, I think you left obviously at like 2006 or seven, was it 2007? I think it was. And then Dreamer eventually left later on. But then you guys met back up in, in TNA here. And um, so let me see here what it was here. So Tommy Dreamer called out on August 5th, 2010. Tommy Dreamer called out Raven, who cut an amazing promo to hype their final showdown. So uh, then Dreamer, oh, my phone's going off. Dreamer. <laughs> Rob Van Dam defeated the Monster Abyss and Raven. Sandman showed up after the match to save Tommy. So that all happened then. Uh, what I wanted to get at was this match, though. So, all right. Here's a question. When was the House of Hardcore match when I wrestled Tommy Dreamer? It might be this one. Oh. So, uh, so this is November 7th, 2010. And this is TNA Turning Point. RVD beat Tommy Dreamer. But Tommy Dreamer suffered a wrist injury with his bone sticking out of the skin. Do you remember that? Oh, um, no. No? Okay. I was going to ask about that, but that's fucking crazy. <laughs> Sounds like something Tommy would do. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, no. So I don't know. The, so uh, the House of Hardcore match, when did that happen? Because I don't have that in my notes here. Maybe in between there. I don't know. That was Tommy's promotion, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was at the ECW arena. No, it wasn't. It wasn't at the ECW arena. Cause I remember like the bleachers and, uh, we went up the bleachers it was some other building, but, um, I, I don't know when that was. It could have been before or after that TNA run. I don't know. I think his, pro the house hardcore promotion itself <laughs> that ran, I think afterwards. Cause I remember, being at one of those shows in like 2015 at the ECW arena, he had one of the, the shows going there. That was a fun promotion too. They had, it was just a whole divert. Like it had ECW talents, but it had modern talents at the time too. It was a good hodgepodge of mixture of stars and stuff. They were fun. He did a good job of that. So yeah, it was definitely before then. Cause my return to WWE was like 2013 and, 13 and 14. 14. So it was probably in between maybe that, those two aspects of it. Maybe I'm not sure. Maybe. Mm. Or you missed one here. I did. Oh. And this isn't YouTube Chris's fault. These are my own notes. So uh, yeah. he, he is not at fault here at all. So I take onus on all this. 